So my favorite racetrack is Silverstone, uh, mainly because of all the high-speed corners. It's just the perfect track to drive in these Formula One cars that make so much downforce. So I think the biggest challenge in 2020 uh, with the global pandemic, uh, obviously being a rookie in Formula One, there's a lot, a lot of new things. And uh, yeah, just from the fact that you know, you're know you limiting the in-person contact, uh, especially when you're really trying to build that bomb with your, uh, your engineers, your mechanics, and kind of having to do everything remotely, it just kind of changed really the way we work on track and even at the factory. So yeah, definitely something to get used to. So unfortunately, when you're driving, you don't actually hear the fans. Uh, maybe on a on a cool down lap or a, on a let's say in lap after the race, you kind of feel the fans. You you're kind of giving them a glance and seeing them uh, cheering you on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it does make a big difference. Uh, just the kind of feeling of the whole atmosphere at a race, not having them there. Uh, it's definitely, I think, something that was missing last year. And uh, yeah, I really hope we can uh, get fans in, in full attendance and full capacity out sometime this year. So I'm probably the only Formula One driver right now that doesn't actually have a car he drives outside the track. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have a all-time favorite driving song, but um, one of my mechanics that I, uh, one of my first karting mechanics when I was uh, racing when I was younger, he always used to tell me before a race, this is uh, do it like Rihanna, shut up and drive. <laughs> my biggest F1 hero. Um, there was never one, one driver that I particularly idolized. Uh, there was uh, always specific traits and aspects about uh, certain drivers that I did always want to try and emulate. And the three drivers that always stood out to me were uh, Michael Schumacher, uh, Alonso and Hamilton. Obviously two of them still racing against this year. <laughs> I wasn't an F1 driver. Um, well, I probably would have uh, gone to the university, studied business. Uh, it was a big interest of mine uh, prior to, let's say, fi finishing my high school. Uh, and yeah, I probably would have done that and kind of joined probably the family business. So if I had to go for a long weekend by the sea, I'd probably choose Cornwall. Uh, never been, but I've heard it's very nice. So my favorite crew clothing piece in the collection, I would have to say I'm a big fan of this polo. I'm a very simple guy when it comes to fashion, just like nice, clean, simple things. So uh, yeah, I can never have enough uh, white polos. 